nomad and wife. Her dying bones, which still have the strength of moon and fight, are held up on his altar hut, watching over a small figure with the once milking flow of feminine curve and charm. He will not be undone by the pain or winter's fast approach. He places a carved bird at her feet. He has killed for her dignity marred, and she for the power of his wide-set eyes. They touch hand to weather-worn hand, and know the sensation singular, like the sun is singular, in its power to bless or deprive. They do not smile, their union is too rich for such a soft space between. They remember their children. Watching as her life departs, his anguish echoes the high plains undefended, heard only by the gods, and the trees so placid absorb each cry, accepting.